Hello YouTube, Caitlin here, and it's another installment of I Imagine Bling's Nerdy Book Club! Wow! And today we're gonna talk about how disappointed I am in Lauren Oliver's dystopian novel, Delirium. Seriously, Caitlin, do you ever like the books that you read? Yes, of course! It's just a lot easier to talk about things you don't like than it is to talk about things that you do like. So I really wanted to read Delirium because I love dystopian novels. As if you guys couldn't tell. And because it was both an author name and a title that I had heard before. Generally, if there's already a fan base, I feel like there's got to be something worthwhile in the book or series that I'm going to be able to find. Like I even sort of like Twilight sometimes. And it's not that I hate or even dislike Delirium, it's just that I was left really disappointed by the end of it. And I just get more unsatisfied as I think about it. Basically, I just keep coming up with a list of ways Delirium could have been a better story in my head. Number one, where's Hannah? I kept thinking Hannah would have a bigger role in the story, but really she only showed up when we needed something to move the plot forward, or when we needed a character to contrast against Lena. Actually, from the very beginning, I thought Hannah was going to be gay and that she would be in love with Lena. And I thought that she'd either betray Lena in the end by telling Telling the authorities about her and Alex's relationship, or she'd make some sort of big sacrifice for Elena instead. Now that would have been an interesting story because the whole point is that love is like this disease thing and everyone's so afraid of deliria. Ah. I was really surprised that it only addressed heterosexual attraction when it could have very easily addressed homosexual attraction too because love was already kind of thought as this diseased thing. And so, you know, if a girl was in love with a guy or a guy was in love with another guy, it doesn't really matter. All of it is wrong in the society's view. But then Lena had such a hard time even wrapping her head around the concept of love between a mother and daughter, like parental family love that I don't even think we should go into like homosexual attraction that would just blow her mind. Number two, why did the story need to be so slow? There was so much waiting and counting of days that time seemed to drag on both in the book and in my reality while reading the book. It was just forever. What's weird is that even though it was so slow, a lot of important things I felt like were skipped over. Like she just sort of insinuated that they spent a bunch of time together and that they fell in love without really showing you them falling in love. I would have rather and believed better them falling in love over a week's time period with really detailed scenes than over an entire summer with vague references to what was going on. Number three, why don't we see anyone from the wilds? They talk about the wilds throughout the entire book and Alex even knows people in the wilds and yet there are really no names or good descriptions given to anyone. Like why couldn't we just have one scene with someone from the wilds? I mean they even go there for a little while and we're just supposed to believe that they're all asleep? Like, no one notices that someone sneaks into their camp in the middle of the night? They have the worst security ever! For a dystopia, these people are a little bit too comfortable for my liking. Number four, if resistors and sympathizers are everywhere, like Alex and Lena keep saying, then how does this whole procedure thing actually keep going and working in the government continue? I mean, doesn't there have to be at least one doctor that's a resistor somewhere? And like, why does he have to keep going through with the surgery? Couldn't he do a fake surgery or something like that? And just be like, don't tell anyone. Like, let's stop with the brain surgery. Number five, how does the procedure even work? I like to have at least a little bit of scientific plausibility with my science fiction. I mean, Lena's aunt and definitely some of the regulators still experience anger, just not love. Is it possible to toy with the amygdala so that you can take away your feelings of love but still be able to have control over all your other emotions like anger? I'm just not really sure about that. Number six, I don't think I ever go up to having to use six fingers, but number six, why is this a trilogy? I'm perfectly fine with how the first book ended. I don't need more books. I don't think I'm actually going to read the other two. Usually I just do it because I should. I feel like I should continue a series, but I really don't think I want to read the other two books. It's a tragic ending, but they set up a Romeo and Juliet metaphor really early on, and it fits very well with that. Number seven, uh, how did they convince all of the United States that love is a disease? And how are other countries not coming over and trying to break people out of these communities, or at least helping the invalids? There's gotta be someone left out there in the world that's like, they're living a hard Probably strange version of a dictatorship. We should probably stop that. <sighs> okay, I think that this bothers me so much because I love the idea of love as a disease thing, but I think that it was executed poorly here. I just want to take it and rewrite everything and have Hannah be in love with Lena and you know, that's your love triangle, man. That's an interesting love triangle. I just, I don't know, it's, it's crazy. 
craziness. Obviously, it's crazy when they're like, oh, it's disease, whoa. I mean, they have symptoms, man, and it's like, oh, if you experience these things, then you need to go to the doctor. Like, Whoa. Anyway, so what do you think about Delirium? Whether you've read it or haven't read it or any of those things, maybe you don't want to read it, let me know in the comments and remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if this video made you smile. See you guys next Thursday. Bye. <laughs>